This is a 2009 Infiniti FX, and in today's video, I'd like to talk about the HVAC system. So we're going to talk about the AC, the basic AC, and a few more enhancements that this system has. Let's go ahead and start the car. Outside temperature, 67, nice and crisp. And I've, I've talked about this in previous videos that typically Nissans and Infinities with automatic AC systems don't start blowing the, you know, the blower motor that's located under your glove box. It doesn't start immediately you, you start the car because the coolant has to get to a certain temperature for you to start, even when you're cooling the car. So in this case, since it's 67, the car has to run for a little while, engine will get the coolant hot warm enough and then that fan will start blowing oh and there you go i was waiting for that to happen because i wanted to show off my grapes well on that thought about the, uh, the thing running sometimes when uh when the outside temperature is warm like 80s whenever you start the car immediately you know because at that point your coolant is already warm enough compared to the environmental temperature so grapes let's talk about grapes some um some cars have this feature and mine is an uh, FX50 the V8s typically come with most premium come with the premium uh, package as a standard the V6s you had to select at least a premium package but some people might have noticed that they do have grapes on their screen whenever whenever um, the blower is running and sometimes it's blue sometimes it's green so I'd like to try to explain why that happens in this video and first i'd like to explain that the the grapes over there uh, they're not really grapes it actually if you look closer if, the, if i can get to focus what looks like a stem over there is actually an eye and then on so it says iron this indicates an ionizer and the ionizer in this car is made by sharp corporation and just like ionizers at home the purpose of an ionizer in your car is to enhance air quality and this one does it in two different ways you have one you have two modes one is called um, the clean mode and what the clean mode does is that it it um, the ionizer emits both negative and positive ions and then those attract attach themselves to um, the nasty stuff floating in the air bacteria bad smells and it does that so that the the na let's call it the nastiness does not attach to the upholstery surfaces in your in your car and I've noticed this and I have not really I guess confirmed this yet but whenever you run an ionizer you're more likely to catch dust on you know on surfaces rather than seeing it floating in the air again it attaches to it and makes it drop out so for example and you guys can check is that you might have dustier surfaces but your air is not as dusty right if that makes sense uh, number two is that um, you have another mode called the clean uh, no no the the ion control mode and then the ion control mode the ionizer emits um, mainly yeah more negatively charged ions and what that is supposed to do is make the air a little crisper you know and I think the example they gave is that it's supposed to to be like um, air near a waterfall or air um, what the air feels like after a storm that basically that that crispness of air is what it tries to enhance there are other features that go along with it um, so that that feature as implemented in the infinity models is called plasma cluster and I suppose you can see that cluster there and um, you don't know, come think of it you know having iron and uh, <laughs> grapes it's a pretty cool um, play with the graphic design because um, so I've talked about the ionizer I've talked about the um, um, it, they call it plasma cluster right then there's uh, a filter there's a grape um, polyphenol filter and that's you know we've talked about that in different videos and then number three you have inside and air uh, inside and outside air quality sensors so there's a gas sensor outside that says if the air outside is bad like you in traffic and things like that it will direct the vehicle to reuse in, inside air and along with that you've got 
these right here auto recirculation so you can recirculate your air manually if you please so right now it shows none of these which means it's getting air from outside and then this it's recirculating air and then this one it's going to do it automatically so those are some of the key features of the of the I haven't even told you what it's called it's called the advanced climate control system ACCS right so you have the regular AC you have you know your AC there you can turn it on and off you know turn the compressor on and off you have your fan speeds you have your mode selector but you also have at least what I usually go for and I've talked about this in previous videos that to make to to make the most of your system it makes sense to just leave everything in auto and I'll be let me talk about that in a second okay so blue that you see right here I'm trying to focus before I talk about the blue let me just talk about the ions again so the ionizer only works whenever the blower is working that's why it took a little bit of time initially for the grapes to show up and regardless of fan speed the graphic does not indicate it to you but behind the scenes it increases and decreases the amount of you know ions it's releasing into the air I wish they had gone that extra step and said you know we've got what one two three four five six seven one two three four five six okay well I wish they'd done something about the you know <laughs> the the graphic in that if you had lower you know you know I'm just saying more um, higher speed more ions I, I don't know it would have been nice but can't ask you know can't ask for everything have to be content with what we have here all right so let's explain the colors when you see it blue that is indicative of the um, the clean mode and the the green is indicative of the ion control mode that I was explaining earlier and how do those work typically whenever you come into your car and start you know I, I started in auto whenever you started in an auto it is going to be in clean mode and then cl clean mode carries for 30 minutes and then switches to ion control mode for 15 minutes then back to cleaning for 30 then 15 etc etc however there's some things that will change that setting it's still going to swap between clean and um and ion control i don't think you can stop that from ha from switching however when you, if you're the kind of person that doesn't, you know, that prefers to change your settings and you change to force it to recir either recirculate or get outside air. So let's force it to get outside air. Fresh air, you realize it goes immediately to ion control mode, right? And if you were to push the button and change it to force it to recirculate, still green. If you were to make it automatic, auto recirc, it goes blue and this is you know this is what we had pushed earlier those three modes over there and that's why I've always said that it just makes sense for these systems leave them in auto let them just do their magic and you can actually play with it over here I thought I'm not certain so it's in fresh air mode right now let me turn the let me mess with it so it's not an auto on the AC system and let me go ahead and so it's green right now let me go ahead and turn it off okay and then we had it in I think outside let me turn it on by just turning the fan on let's see what happens okay it starts on auto anyway I was yeah I was gonna I couldn't quite remember what that does over there but if you were to force it to green or you know force it either to get outside air or basically make it manual either manual recirculate or manual get outside air it starts with a green, but then what happens is that it changes every 15 minutes. Instead of 30 blue, then 15 green, it's now 15 equally. And, you know, if you've got a long trip, long commute, take the opportunity to test it out and see um, how, how long it takes in between changes. But generally 15 and maybe half a minute for a lag. I can't remember if it's the green to blue. One of them has a little bit of a delay. But, yeah, so this is it. I... I guess I was speaking for a lot longer than I thought I would, but I wanted to give you the basics without leaving anything out, but I did not want to get too deep in detail on, on such a feature, but 
I hope that uh, this short video explains the grapes and why the grapes change color and hopefully explains how you could enjoy it the most because as I said as much as you can force it to change color or force which color starts at the end of the day the car knows what the air quality best you know we we can't we don't have the sensors that the car has so yeah all the best catch you guys later